second one that is carbon dioxide titration okay as we know that whenever we start with the titration to be thorough with we should know so as we have said in that other case oxygen estimation the same will be followed here the principle is that we are going to estimate the amount of carbon dioxide dissolved in the water but then what makes the difference is that when we speak about oxygen the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere is very high so the amount of oxygen dissolved in the water will be comparatively high but then when we see about the carbon dioxide the content of carbon dioxide is comparatively less okay so we cannot expect a huge amount of carbon dioxide in a normal way being dissolved in water but then if there is carbon dioxide available it readily mixes with the water and we know that when it mixes with water it forms the acid carbonic acid so that's clear if there is carbon dioxide available it will mix very fast but then the problem is the atmosphere does not have a very high load of carbon dioxide okay and what we can see is that as carbonic acid as i said carbon dioxide is there water it is forming a carbonic acid and what we do is to estimate carbon dioxide we are using phenolphthalein as the indicator right why because phenolphthalein in a acidic medium in a acidic medium will be colorless so we will be taking 100 ml of water in the conical flask right and then what you have to do is you have to add phenolphthalein one or two drops of phenolphthalein and what you could see it will be normally colorless but sometimes if the carbon dioxide content is very very low that means if the water is alkaline right then you may see that when you add the phenolphthalein by adding itself it will be pink in color and then don't be in a confusion on what happened the simple it is the simple uh, principle that when i add a phenolphthalein in a alkaline medium it will be pink but then in an acidic medium it will be colorless so normally we will be adding phenolphthalein one or two drops and i could see normally it will be colorless right because we expect that it is a, it is having some amount of carbon dioxide dissolved right and since it is dissolved it may be having carbonic acid acid is there right and then what i have to do is i'll be taking a naoh in the burette naoh is alkaline right and i'll be titrating it when i start titrating as one one drop is been added we know that when alkaline is been added to acid it will be neutralized right so as gradually we, uh, we go on adding and we can see that it has been utilized whatever carbon uh, carbonic acid condition has been there it has been utilized by that naoh right and there will be a point a single drop at which almost almost i could not say almost the complete uh, acidic content might have been reacted with the alkaline now no more acidic acidic content is present in the water that means when that single drop falls now it is alkaline isn't it it is alkaline and it's the simple water hope it's clear now it is being the alkaline medium so as you could see that that single drop may change the water pink the first very point which gives a permanent pink color should be taken as the end point because as you add the point where the alkaline come and drop that will be always pink but then as you shake it that color will disappear you can see that single point will become alkaline that's why it is giving a pink color but then when you mix with the whole load because the other water bond part has been acidic that will be uh, the color will disappear hope that is clear hope the principle and the procedure is clear to you okay so that's it so you can continue thank you എത്ര എം എല്ല ഹൺഡ്രഡ്
그래 한 그릇 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 एक्ट्रा ऑर्डर इंस्टेंट है ना? Bawar minus ke? Kalau mandu boleh. Bawa ke? Bawa. Ni kan sih dia ramai. Kau tu mesti ni. 